There. That's it. That's him. What's up, people? I'm in the building, as always, to give you another video. I'm not going to give you any news talk. I'm going to give you, like, my little view on things as far as life is going right now. And I'm going to talk about something that a lot of people might take offense. But at the same time, just because you take offense to something doesn't mean it's not true. So here we go. I'm going to talk today about the social and moral bankruptcy of America and why a lot of bad things are happening to America because we're socially and morally bankrupt. Now, America has become more and more bankrupt socially and morally, you know, for a long time now. You know, even though this current generation is all about themselves, meaning this and the fifth, it's folks in their late 30s and to mid 50s that are more and more socially and morally ignorant. Like, I, you see this on your Facebooks, your Twitters, your this, that, the fifth. There's no, their lines are getting blurred nowadays. There's no, like, back in the old days, and I hate to say this, they were hardliners, but I give the old the old days credit. They were, it was a white line, black line, whatever line. You knew what things were, you knew what it stood, and it was simple and clear. Nowadays, you have gay marriages, you have, you have, uh, divorces with a sky high rate, you got crime running rampant, you got, you just got a bunch of debauchery going on that, and like, if you're looking at, like, if you're a religious person, you can see why we're going through what we're going through. You know, the younger generation can only do what they learn from the older generation. And that's why I tried to say, I had a video, I don't know if I put it up yet or I might put it up later. The younger generation can only do what they learn. Like, if I teach, if, if let's just say, if I'm a bank robber and all I know is robbing banks, if I teach, if my kids don't know nothing, that's all they're going to do is they're going to rob banks. If I try to get, you know, if I have a little bit of moral and if I'm a little social going towards me, socially going towards me, I try to steal that. Now, let me get, let me, let me point this out. If you go on Facebook, I'm a heterosexual male. If you go on Facebook, you see I'm in a lot of groups, and I, you know some people post what they post. Now, that's none of my business. But at the same time, it's conflicting as a heterosexual male because like, I like seeing that. Don't get, don't get me wrong, I like seeing that. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, is this what you come down to? Is you just a piece of meat, a piece of flesh to just, you know, you think all you have is your body? Just let me tell you something. If, I, tell, I told chicks this that I used to go with. If you just think you just have your body, once you get to a certain age, you're going to get kicked to the curb because somebody's going to get a younger version of you. Or that these dudes with the money, you think the money's going to keep a chick? You lose the money, you lose the chick. Now, this is just, it's natural. This is some folks never learn, me personally. I just think, socially and, mor and morally wise, we're just, we're, as America's just none. You know, when you ever you start endorsing, look, I had no problem with people, as long as they're not hurting others. But I'm not gonna vote for things like gay marriage. I'm not gonna vote for you taking my guns away. I'm not gonna vote for anything stupid that's gonna bring down America further to the cesspool that we're already in. So it's just a shame that like, being fake is new real nowadays. You can't say the truth. I give credit to people who speak the truth. So, I'm out. Deuce. There. That's it. That's him.